Another question I'm asked frequently is, what does family, what does my family have anything to do with the stuff that I'm going on? Or do we need to bring my family into this therapeutic session or healing session or whatever? And the answer is no, not necessarily. We don't always have to bring in family, but oftentimes if you're the one asking the question, likely the family is involved. And the family is, it's an interesting thing because it's not something as a, an entity, as a way of being that we choose consciously to come into. These things are sort of part of our fate and destiny as the family that we were born into, the situation, whether it be an adopted family or your birth family, it really doesn't matter. All of these things have a story and sort of a webbing to be able to unfurl that gives a, give us truth about how it is that you're operating in the world. So, and the other reality about family is, is that we parent the way we wish we were parented, but we parent the way we were actually parented when we're under stress. So that includes also how we parent ourselves. And that opportunity to be able to look at those patterns and realize that our value systems, our stress patterns, all of the above come from our early childhood. So there's an opportunity with being able to see how it is that we operate within the world in that way. And if we pull back and we're able to have a new lens on these perspectives, we actually gain an empowerment with conscious choice. Sometimes I hear from people, I had a great childhood, why am I in turmoil? Or I had a great childhood, why do I need therapy? Those questions can kind of go alongside each other. And the reality is, is that we're all in earth school and we all are having to deal with life's problems. And Buddha said cheekily, in, in a very cheeky way, Buddha offered great wisdom saying, I can't help you with your 83 other human problems, but I can help you with the 84th. And that is to be self-compassionate and love yourself and know that there's going to be problems in the, world's and thing, in the world and things that we need to deal with. And it's okay. You can still be kind and love yourself on the journey. And just expect that there's going to be things that come up. So now getting the tools that you need in order to be able to handle those situations when you just simply adopt that attitude can be very, very helpful. So why am I in turmoil if you've had a perfect childhood? It's a good question and it has to do with that. It has to do with the fact that we all have life lessons to learn. Some people are here learning about more about relationships, whether it be business relationships or love relationships or all kinds of relationships. And some people are here learning about how does money work? Some people are here, how does their physical body work? They're just riddled with ailments and things that are going on. So we all have our different lots in life that we're dealing with. And to be able to do it with the, the most aplomb that we can of skill to be able to move through is really such a gift. And that's what I'm also here to help you with.